This quick video is going to show you how to embed work into your Google site. So we're going to use examples from three different tools, um, from PictoChart, TAC, BlendSpace, and then just inserting something from Google. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is get the embed code. Um, so here from TAC, I can go to edit. Or from, so if I wanted to share this in my ePortfolio, I would simply go to publish. And then you can see I have a link, but there's also an embed code. So I'm actually going to copy this embed code. Then on my ePortfolio, I'm going to go to the HTML. Things can look a little bit crazy in here, but you're going to actually just paste in that HTML code and choose update. And now when you click save, that infographic is going to be embedded into the website rather than just a file at the bottom. Um, this just provides a neat look for you. Um, we'll go ahead and practice with another one. Uh, for TAC, you'll notice that you can get an embed code as well. You're going to scroll down to share, and you'll see here that there's an embed option, those two carrots. And then you're going to copy this code, and you can even paste it above or below what you already have in here. So I'm going to go to HTML one more time. You'll need to be in the editing mode. Say so if we wanted to put that below we would just paste in that code. So it looks a little bit crazy, but that's how you get work embedded. And when we go to save, it'll show up. Um, for blend space, there's an embed code too. Um, all you're gonna have to do is click share and then embed. So most tools that you use are going to give you an embed code that you can use for your website. So you can see that we've embedded several pieces of work onto this page. Um, you can also add things from your Google Drive without having to get an embed code. Um, so since this is a Google project, Google product, Google Sites, it makes um, adding Google documents easy. Um, so what you have, all you have to do is go to insert, and then you can choose Google Drive and um, anything that you've created. So if it's a Google presentation, you're going to click on presentation, and as long as you're signed in, it's going to show all the Google presentations that you currently have or been working on. And then you can even search if you need to search if you can't remember where it was. So say if I click on this one and select, you can choose the size that you want it to go in as. Okay. And save. So now I've got a Google presentation embedded into my site. Um, I think that you guys will enjoy embedding different things. And notice that you can also center these and realign them once they're in. So here I can center um, or I can get rid of it.